Josh Schmel has enjoyed a long career starring in movies and TV shows, but now he's doing something new, stepping behind the camera for the first time with his directorial debut, Buddy Games. The film follows six friends who have an annual get-together full of competitive obstacles and debauchery. Take a look. <laughs> Enter the dragon! <laughs> Bob left. <laughs> so I love this, Josh. Good morning. Hey, that's some highbrow stuff right there. Oh yeah, <laughs> it certainly is. And when I heard that this movie is based on an annual gathering that you have with your childhood friends, I couldn't help but wonder: Is the real life buddy games as as crazy as the movie? I wish I could. I wish I could say that it were. It's. Uh, it's definitely got uh, levels of, of absurdity and debauchery <laughs> and whatever else. But, yeah, we definitely heightened it uh, quite a bit for the movie. But, yes, the spirit, the spirit of our games are definitely in the spirit of this movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we understand that one of your co-stars, Jack Shepard, is, is basically based on you. He plays a struggling actor. Uh, uh, how, did, how did you coach Dax, direct Dax, to get into it? Dax is actually a director himself, so I leaned on him quite a bit throughout this movie, uh, you know, because we, we had 18 days to shoot it and not a whole lot of money. Wow. So there are, oftentimes I leaned on him, but, you know, I think that he, I didn't have to coach him much because he, like me, like most other actors, have struggled, you know, mightily throughout our career. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, he understood, he understood the, the plight. Josh, before you shot this thing, I understand you got to speak to the director of my my favorite classic bro comedy, The Hangover. What what advice did Todd Phillips give you? Oh, you knew that. Oh, uh, yeah. yes, I did. You know, so I knew I knew Todd a little bit from uh, from our, our, the preschool that our kids went to. Uh, I would see him at functions. We would we would talk a little bit, and I just said, you know what, I'm going to call him. Hmm. I'm going to call him. We got two days before we start shooting. And he was so he was so generous because he said, first of all, congratulations for getting the movie up and running, because it's not an easy it's not an easy task. And he said, you got a great cast. He said, just don't let them out funny each other. You know, they're all funny. Just make sure you keep it grounded and keep it between the rails. And yeah. and that's really what I tried to do. You know, this movie is outrageous. It is wild and debaucherous, but it is also grounded. And I think that that's. That was uh, something that I, that I took from Todd, for sure. That's a really interesting perspective. You know, and I'm interested in your take on this. So this film is out in theaters, and it's available on demand. So as the director, was it important for you to have a theatrical release, you know, as well? A lot of movie theaters, as you know, are struggling. Like, what's the balance there now, these days? It is tough, and, it's, and, I, and I feel for all those theater owners. I've been speaking to a lot of them throughout this process. We were supposed to do a little premiere in Minneapolis, and everything got shut down there. And and I saw firsthand how how you know these are real businesses that are struggling also. So uh, it would have been really nice to do a big, wide you know theatrical release because every, I think all of us love to actually go to the movie and experience it mm -hmm. communally, and especially a comedy, I think, is a great way to, you know, all, all sit in a big room and laugh mm -hmm. together. But unfortunately, right now, we got to we gotta wait until things get back to normal, and then we'll get back into the theaters. But uh, we did, you know, we, we are able to be in about 400 uh, wow. theaters right now, which is huge, yeah, because is. I didn't even expect that until right before we started uh, release of the movie. Wow. That's great. Uh, in the credits of the film, I have to ask about this. Your ex-wife, Fergie, gets a special thank you. And as two people who are working, who are co-parenting, I mean, how nice is it to still have each other's backs like that? Well, yeah, I mean, th this movie goes back about four years, I think, is when I first started writing it. And she was the one who said, you know what, you should, you can, you can direct this. You can go, you can, mm -hmm. you can do this. And I'll, I'll never forget that that's, you know, that was, and I, when we were doing the final credits, I go, you know what, I got to give Ferg a little shout out because she <laughs> was, she was somebody who said, who, you know, told me to go do it because I didn't, I, I, honestly, I wasn't sure if I could. Wow. Well, it's great to have that kind of support. And, and, and Josh, uh, you've been a friend of the show for a long time. And I, I think I was very excited to be part of a little bit of history. When, when you were here la uh, one of the last times, oh. you actually caught a mouse uh, you remember in, that in, in our green room. <laughs> Uh, it was, so which was pretty, pretty impressive. Your skills, lightning cat-like reflex. Oh. Uh, boom! No, wait, you got him. What do you oh. mean? Oh. oh! 
No, in the cup? No, you had video oh, and of it was the alive? mouse? Oh, yeah. I, I, I shot that. <laughs> we had to catch him twice. Wait, Josh, when it fell out, did you get it again? Yes, he did. I no. Did. I got I got him. I got him back in that little cup. That, that's that's just my experience hanging out at my cabin. I feel like a lot of mice out there. Oh my god! Did you leave here and tell your friends like, oh, that Today Show? They've got they've got mice running around. Hey, mice need a place to live too. <laughs> that's right. There you that's go. Right. We are in New York City. Next so. time you come, Josh, we've got a Komodo dragon. <laughs> You're so silly. Oh man. I'll bring it. I'll bring it next time. Hey, Al, congratulations. You look great, man. You're a warrior. That's great. Thank you. Thanks so much, Josh. I really appreciate that. Josh, Good thank you, you guys. so Good much for talking with us. Nice to see you as well. And you can right. catch Buddy Games in select theaters and on demand right now. Good Josh stuff. DeMel, what a renaissance. I'm telling you. Such a Director, good guy. actor, mouse Love catcher. Funny, likable. All the, oh, yeah. And then can catch a mouse. Who can catch and a, a mouse? And a with black a and beard, too. Right? With a cup. How do you catch a mouse with a cup?